Scorsese film Taxi Driver, right? Where he stands oh, in front of yeah. the mirror. Travis Bickle is his name. And he says, uh, you talking to me? Right? Um, in regards to your poetry, who are you talking to? I'm talking to me. I'm talking to me, the me that exists in my imagination, the me that is an intelligence as sharp and as brilliant and as ferocious as mine is. Is that something that others have called you? Or is this your own evaluation of yourself? This is my own evaluation of myself, although others have chimed in uh, prismatically over the decades. American Sonnet 100 from Mercura Crown. When thou dost find no joy in all famed Erato's honeyed breast, word sport against the poet's jest, how black and luscious comes each double barreled phrase like poisoned roses or a maddened poet's gaze. Words abundant dance their meanings on a thrilling floor. The stolen song of ravens and purloined harps galore. This is the gentle game of maniacs and queens. Translations of the highly sold into a dreamer's sputterings where dark gives voice to gazers light and writerly praise is blessed in continents the spillage of delight sing to me sing to me sing to me sing to me baby thy anthem of untasted fruit Slay me, slay in me the wretchedness that names me brute. Liberate my half-dead kill. Come, glory in my rebirth. Sing to me, sing to me the anthem. Come, glory in my wonders will sing to me sing to me baby sing to me <laughs> yeah. now that, that that's from that's my take on that's my nod to shakespeare so it rhymes with one of the shakespearean sonnets <laughs> <laughs> One of the negative criticisms I've gotten from uh, dominant culture poets is that 
I'm a jazz poet. That's an ac usually an accusation when it's made. And I've kind of, I've taken that and stood it on its ear. And so I love, you know, doing, you know, what jazz musicians did at the beginning of the formula. Oh, I could do that too. You know, you sit down at the piano, and but I'm going to jazz it up. And so we're going to take Chopin, and we're going to take, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Strauss, and we're going to go off somewhere else. And so here's my riff on Shakespeare. I'm going off somewhere else. I own all of that. Yeah, all right. There are such things as trade secrets to write. You know, what would be on the top of your list? You're dealing with the young people or poets approaching the craft. Trade secrets. Let's see, my trade secrets. Um, two adages, both spoken by black men. The first one, my father, <laughs> who said, don't think about it, do it. I mean, that is a mantra. I mean, I say that to myself when I find myself going off and wandering the mental corridors, I stop myself with that one and I say, don't think about it, do it. The other one was said to me by a character named Joe, who uh, was very old school from New York, you know, lived in that uh, sort of pseudo criminal underground, said to me once, if you're a writer, write. <laughs> I was tending bar at the time, so it really stung. He said, you're a writer, right? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more than feisty. 